Houston. Good morning. Morning, Mark. Сейчас. О, наблюдаем. Идет? Да. Все принимаем. Отлично видим. Commander Terry Wilkett continuing to fly a very precise course up toward the Mir space station, and uh, this view from the Mir space station looking at Endeavour as it continues its approach toward the Mir, now at a distance of just about 45 feet. Попросите кого-нибудь его рукой помахать из кабины шаба. Надо в иллюминатор помахать рукой. And this view of the uh, crew cabin of Endeavour from its overhead windows. Houston, we're with you, Tedris Z, and via Mir, we're looking in through your two overhead windows. And these are the overhead windows in the crew cabin of Endeavour as it is now just about 43 feet away from Mir. Uh, this view coming from the Mir space station. As Endeavour approaches the 30-foot distance from the Mir space station, uh, this view of the overhead windows in the crew cabin of Endeavour. Very shortly, the crew will begin its station keeping at the 30-foot level before receiving their final go decision to proceed for at the docking with Mir. That docking expected just about 11 minutes from now. The docking will take place in darkness, as this view also is in orbital night. As the two spacecraft now are some 209 nautical miles, or 240 statute miles, high over the African continent. We copy your up. The crew is reporting that they have sighted the docking target on board Mir and that uh, no course correction is required at this time. And the crew is now beginning its final approach to the Mir, passing inside the 30-foot mark as it continues a very slow approach for docking with the Mir space station. Endeavour now within 25 feet, closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a foot per second. And contact between Endeavour and the Mir space station confirmed on time at 2.14 p.m. Central Time. Endeavour Houston, Mir's in free drift. And so are we. Looks like a good capture. Thank you. Roger Houston, we're just ready to call you. We're going to drive the ring in. And this view of uh, astronaut Dave Wolf aboard the Mir space station as Endeavour is now initiating a post-contact thrust maneuver to 
uh, to drive the two rings together to create a hard mate between the two spacecraft. And again, Dave Wolf aboard the Mir space station, uh, now docked to Endeavour. Along with flight engineer Pavel Vinogradov. Единичка и код 0255. 02.55. Секундочку, сейчас я ничего не вышел на режим. Endeavour Houston for Andy, we have a good view of the flight deck. What's it look like? Once Commander Anatoly Soloviev is uh, done with his activities opening up the Mir hatch, as well as some housekeeping activities at the conclusion of that, the shuttle will begin a pressurization equalization prior to the opening of the door from the, or the hatch from the shuttle side, allowing the Mir 24 and STS-89 crews to greet each other personally. Terry, we have an excellent view of you at the ODS hatch, and you have a go for hatch opening. This is Mission Control, Houston. Hatch opening and a first greeting between Mir-24 Commander Anatoly Soloviev and Mir STS-89 Commander Terry Wilcott as Endeavour Mir are passing just to the southeast of Australia. Greetings all around. Reminder to push and hold the uh, bips move.
Exchange of greetings continuing as the Mere 24 and STS 89 crews uh, meet and greet one another. to welcome the uh, crew of Terry Wuka that had so magnificently performed the rendezvous and docking, and we're very happy to see our friends who have arrived to work together with us uh, on the Mir station. City. Thank you, Anatoly. It is uh, our honor to be here on Space Station Mir, and uh, we thank you for your welcome. Uh, we have looked forward to picking up our friend Dave and bringing him back home, and uh, of course we'll be sad for leaving our friend Andy, and, uh, but we know that another crew will be here shortly to pick him up. And in the meantime, I'm sure he is in good hands. We have some gifts that we would like to present to you. Uh, here is some fresh fruit. And we have a couple of other things here. Russia, space, or America. 
but I know it's going, going to be America next. And uh, I know all of you people from different places, from space. We really met in space. And uh, Sally from Star City in Russia, you were my first roommate. And uh, it's just amazing to see you all again up here. And, and it, it really hits me harder than I ever expected it would. And thanks for coming. And Andy, I uh, look forward to helping you get adjusted. And I think you're in for a wonderful experience, one of the best of your whole life. Well, thanks, David, and, and as always, Bolshoi Spasiba. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is, I've only been in here a few minutes. Uh, I can see I'm going to have an awful lot to learn, uh, despite all the training, but it's going to be a fascinating time. There's no doubt about that. So thank you. Thank you both. Well, it's only will help you learn. <laughs> Pleasure to be back, uh, not only onto the space station there to, to see my old commander again, Anatoly, great guy, and I'm sure uh, Andy will learn a lot. <laughs> It's uh, very pleasant to see uh, my colleagues on Mir. We long waited this moment. We traveled for two days to this point and finally have seen each other. And we are now seeing a number of happy uh, and gleeful people. And I feel very fortunate to have been here, to, to be here uh, among these people. Of course, this is the first time I am aboard Mir. This is a very impressive. The size, the scope of this is just uh, unbelievable. I would like to express my thanks to uh, everyone, to David, to Anatoly, and Pavel, and Terry. I would like to like to greet all of the astronauts and cosmonauts who have arrived here. It uh, is not possible for everyone on the Earth to come up here, but to those of us who are here, we are one family, we are all citizens of the world, and I greet you all. <laughs>